Hey there, Swim Junkies, Paul here, hoping you're having a great day, but most importantly, I'm hoping you're loving watching the Olympic Games right now. I've got some great footage, as you can see here, lined up between the showdown between Ariane Titmus from Australia and Katie Ledecky from the USA in the final of the 400 freestyle. What an amazing race, and I'm gonna talk you through a few idiosyncrasies. But first, let me congratulate Christian Blumenfeld in taking out the men's triathlon result from Norway there this morning, an amazing result. Alex Jean Silver and Hayden Wild in bronze. What a great performance in some very challenging conditions. Now, in this showdown in the women's 400 freestyle, of course, Katie Ledecky has been the dominant force for a long, long period of time. She went into the 2020 London Olympic Games as the outside um, unknown, the wild card, the 15 year old wild card to our, of course, Rebecca Adlington, who I just love and adore to this day uh, in terms of her swimming prowess, double Olympic gold medalist, and former world record holder but of course in 2012 things changed the order there the changing of the guard if you like and it was a changing of the guard here today as well in Tokyo between uh, Ariana Titmus from Australia and Katie Ledecky so let's have a quick uh, quick bit of a look here at uh, this video footage and uh, and see what we can see what we can see now one of the crazy little things about this is that I actually got a text message earlier on this morning from somebody who didn't realise I was actually at work and hadn't actually seen the uh, the event live, and I was a little bit disappointed because he just texted me. It was my mate Nathan. He texted me and he said, um, "Whoa, what an amazing pacing performance there!" Dot dot dot. Now. That still left me a little bit unknown as to who actually won the event. And of course, I'm thinking pacing, performance, Katie Ledecky. I actually did, believe it or not, I did a presentation a couple of years ago to, at the Mallorca Best Fest with this young lady here, Jazz Carlin, who took out the Olympic silver medal in the 400 and 800 freestyle to Katie Ledecky. She had some pretty amazing pacing, but it's always been Katie Ledecky's pacing that people have always been uh, really talking about and, uh, and bigging up, etc. So as soon as Nathan sent that little text message I thought oh my god what a spoiler I uh, I already know the result before I look at it and then to my surprise Ariana Titmus has come out on top so let's look at exactly how she did that so if we just bring up the uh, the little video footage here let's have a little bit of a uh, look here and if I can hit my play button there we go now what's really interesting on this first lap if you'd like to observe this is we know that Katie Ledecky only breathes to her right hand side. Now, normally Ariana Titmas only breathes to her left hand side. And on the pool date with seven times world marathon swimming champion this morning, Shelley Taylor Smith, we were talking about how this was going to play out in the seedings in lane four and lane five on the final lap. Because if you think about it, on that final lap, Katie Ledecky would be breathing to her right and Ariana Titmus would be breathing to her left-hand side. They'd be breathing away from each other on the final lap. How would that affect things? Well, if there was ever an example of somebody swimming their own race and not letting an, a legend of the sport get away from you, it's this first lap. On this first lap, Ariana Titmus here with the yellow cap is actually breathing to her least preferred breathing side only for this lap. On this first lap, first 50 meters, she's breathing to her right hand side. She's actually breathing away from Katie Ledecky. Now, Katie Ledecky obviously is going to put out some amazing performance. We all know that's going to happen. But when you're standing on, the, on that platform ready to take off against Katie Ledecky, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh my God, you know, am I going to actually be able to sort of like keep up with her? What should my game plan be or what have you? She is so dominant in her own thoughts processes. This is Ariana Titmus and of course Katie Ledecky as well, don't get me wrong. But Ariana Titmus was so dominant in terms of what she was actually thinking about on that pool deck at the start of this event, thinking, I can't let this legend of the sport overrun my race, so I'm gonna take care of my race myself. So on this first 50, she breathes entirely to her least preferred side, to that right hand side. Notably, of course, she can breathe to that side quite comfortably and actually turn in a pretty good split. Now, if we just sort of advance forwards on here a little bit and we get into the swim a little bit further, of course, Katie Ledecky starts taking quite a sizable lead over here. And you can see on this lap here, as we can see, Katie Ledecky 
Beautiful high elbow catch and pull through there on that right hand side. Breathing to her right hand side, not able to see in her rear view vision, if you like, or even her side vision there, Aaron and Titmus. In fact, she's a whole body length. So even if she were to look to her left hand side, she'd just see clear water. But as we can see here, Aaron and Titmus just breathing here and breathing away from Katie Ledecky, breathing to her left hand side there. Amazing stuff. And look at how far ahead Ledecky is at the moment. Titmus obviously still keeping her cool and her calm. Now I've been crunching some numbers which you'll be pleased to know. And let's just bring them up here. Now, bearing in mind the text message I got at whatever it was, stupid o'clock this morning from my friend Nathan, he's saying amazing splits, amazing pacing. That must be the best paced 400 ever. Well, if you've ever done a 400, and I'm hoping you have if you've been following us here, 400 and 200 freestyle, we often use to use and calculate your CSS pace, your critical swim speed. Well, I'm thinking, of course, Kate Ledecky with her prowess, overpacing, she's probably won the event, still not knowing, of, of course. But I've crunched some numbers here, and hopefully we can have a little look at those now. In the blue here, uh, blue corner, ding, ding, we've got Katie Ledecky. In the orange corner, we've got Ariane Titmas. Now, as we have a little look at this, and just maybe just bring this a little bit more clear, as you can see there, We've got our lap splits here for Ledecky and obviously our lap splits for Titmus and also our split times as well, which I was able to get from the video footage. Now, what's interesting about this is Katie Ledecky actually turned behind Ariana Titmus on the first 50 meters. So if anything, the young pretender had maybe gone out a little bit too hot and was going like, oh my God. So maybe she just pulled it back a little bit. Maybe on that turn, she was able to see that she was slightly ahead there. Who knows? But whatever happens over the next 50 meters, 150, 200 meters here, Titmus slows down quite significantly, relatively to Ledecky. We can see her splits here, 27.88 for Ledecky, 27.73, so Titmus is up, at, up in front at that point, 29.17, 29.39, 29.94. So at this point, we start to blow out to about 0.4 of a second behind here, but then we start to actually bring things back to about 0.15, 0.16 of a second here. And as we get to the 250 meter marker, Titmus is suddenly then starting to knock out faster time. She's not ahead yet, 2.28 on the split there versus two. 27 but she's starting to knock out some faster 50 meter splits here and this is exactly what the graph starts to show here at the bottom at that point at the 250 meter marker is exactly where they are even and then of course Ariana Titmus comes home with a very very dominant display being only 13 one hundredths of the world record at that point in time which is absolutely fantastic now one of the things that I'm really really loving about this footage and I'm hoping you are too, is this live speed update. So you can actually get to see how many meters per second, the velocity that these swimmers are swimming at here. So we've got Titmus here in uh, 159. Obviously, Katie Ledecky at this point, still prior to the 200 meter marker, still knocking out a blistering 161. So these two champions, obviously taking away uh, gold and silver in today's race, absolutely amazing. I was a little bit annoyed with my mate Nathan for saying that, he, that there was a, um, a, a, a brilliant, brilliant pacing performance performance and I just assumed it was Ledecky. I'm sorry Ariana Titmus, I'm sorry I didn't believe, or not that I didn't believe in you or such sort of thing, but I just didn't believe it could be anybody else than Ledecky, but clearly enough certainly it was and you are now on that gold podium having taken away that golden medal. Now I just want to show you one last final thing about this video footage because if we get it, hopefully there we go, we've got Titmus, she looks up into the stands, here they go, they come off onto the pool deck here together, but I think Channel 7 did a little bit of an amazing thing here and got a very very quick bit of footage of her coach Dean Boxall let's just see if we've got it in the here he is here he is Dean Boxwell in the stands celebrating the win let's do this in fact this is worth watching in slow motion check out this dude yes wow yeah <laughs> That's what it means to coach an Olympic gold medalist. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this.